Sorry, Joy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aww. She did not like. I didn't mean to make a noise you didn't approve of. I'm sorry. That's my fault. You know she doesn't like prolonged noises. That's my fault, little buddy. I'm sorry. I won't make any more noises like that. Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. We're back. We're back. He's We're wearing back. his Jacob his Jacob sweatshirt. We're back. I'm Jacob. He's Jacob. Julia's got her professorial blazer on she's blazing she's 420 blazing it 420 blazing it the the jacket's made out of weed if you light it on fire you can get blazed whoa it's not made out of weed it's not it's made out of tweed hey smoke tweed every day i doubt it's made out of tweed it's all right what are you honking about? It, it, it's nighttime. It's nighttime. Chill There's out. nothing to honk about at nighttime. Nothing to honk about. Anyway, it's from like Old Navy or something. So, How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the stream. We're very excited to be playing Beacon Pines tonight. Yeah. Because we had such a good time with the demo. Mm -hmm. but that was a long time ago now. Well, it feels like an eternity ago. Yeah. It was like a different era. Yeah. Of life. Yeah. But now the whole game is out. Mm -hmm. We get to find out the whole story. Look at all the nice art. Mm -hmm. Draz is posting the link to the demo stream. Yes, we are going to be playing it from the beginning. Yes. So what we covered in the demo stream, we'll be covering again, presumably. Yes. Yeah. Because I don't remember what happened. Nope. And I also don't remember how you play. Correct. And I don't want to start, for a lot of people who might not have caught that stream, I don't want to start somewhere weird. I don't even know if we could. <laughs> Yeah. I think the demo is like a separate game. I think it starts us yeah. at the beginning regardless. But in any case, it's going to be fun. I'll try not to do my usual, which is to take my time when playing video games. Like if it is stuff we've covered in the demo, I'll try to like kind of run through it so that we can get to some new stuff. But also it was long ago enough that, you know, it's yeah. okay if we got a little recap. And we'll probably, I imagine, play through this whole one. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the plan. Yeah, because it's spooky Cause we, season. Because we really liked it. It's a great fall game. Mm -hmm. It's got all the vibes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. This was the Sodi Pap voice. Yeah. For this one. Sodi Pap. Pap. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Let me get a Sodi Pap. Did, who did I give that voice to? The main character? Was, <laughs> was I doing that for the whole game? Was it for the main character or the fella on the left? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Who did I do that voice for? Tell me, chat. Chat. Tell me. Tell me the voice. I want to pet the kitty. It was the main character's voice. That's right. I remember because I gave the main character that voice and like right at the beginning, there's like a tragedy or something <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it was like straight away. Oh, I was using the voice. Great. Let's do that again. You want to be the main character again? I, I'll be the main character again. Okay. Um, should we read some subs? The cat had a grandpa voice. That seems right. Uh, yeah, let's read the subs. <laughs> <That's right. clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Let's read some subs. A little. I didn't do that. That was joy. Oh, don't blame her heads down. She does 90% of the getting us wet. So <laughs> That's true. She does. I can blame tend her. Tend to walk onto our laps, sneeze all over the place or all over us and then leave. Yeah. Uh, we got subs from Lil Miss Greenbean, Fluke Fancy, Anna Plays Video Games, Barry Babombus, Whether or No, thank you, Jamie, aka Nicole, Double Joe 7, Travis Dabbis, Emmerlin, PL Pete 12, why you mads though? Cyber Lump, Du Vega, Asymmetricon, Fluke Fancy again, Seda Jupta, Ryan Tony Art, Evelyn Sometimes, Skinoris 75, Oz Belmont, Lavender Ghost 0410, Quigley 555, Joe Crazy Face, Todd from Mario, Orphic Orchids, Elf and Sabu, Drewski Ski Ski, A Red Panda Party, 
Pastor Ass Blaster. Puppy Pwobs gave out five swubs. Thank you. Carmst 18, Ethereal 13, Jide X, Pushina Corn 421, Tiny Kendra, Chemicult gave out two subs. Thank you so much. Roomful of Lesbian Vampires, Maccabee 137, Uncle Seb, Kate May Art, Kalahapa, Flesh Papa, Sad Void Boy, The Slow Loris, Coffee Vamp, Emmy the Mac, Kekis Lechonk Admirer, Ari, Jester the Cleric, Struggling Verbiage, Rando79, The RB Stream, Librarian 2, The Appendix, Kate Kate, Mix Morganic, Kaz84, Stellar Sorcerer, Biafi Toffee, And Eaters Can't Type, Carol Altamonte, Sucre Baroque, Ego D Bowl, Pineapple Skulls, <laughs> That, Ryan Bo Person, That, Ryan Bo Person, Minty Berry, Libra Heart, Impeccable Vibes Only, Augie Doggy Doggy Daddy, Lorna Corn, Ruthless Row, Max and Axum, Self Destructive Cat, April State, Imagine Birds, Big By the Giant Guy, Lost Without Pockets, Heath Cliff is a Pratt. Sunrise gave out five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Scarlet Manatee, Kit15, Your Friend Tusco, Airy the Magpie, Anonymous Clive, Savis, and Villainous Tram, and Dante Magnum. Thank you very much. Thank you all so much for subscribing. We really appreciate Also, apparently the it. game devs are in the chat. The game devs are in the chat. Thanks Welcome. For, thanks for watching. If you're here, this is a... Uh, thanks for joining us, and we're really excited to play your game. This is a good-ass game y'all made. Yeah, we remember, loved the demo so much that we're back. I remember really loving the demo, so I'm excited to see to see how it goes. Yeah, really excited to get back into it. I think you were the one who was uh, manning the controls last time. That sounds right. But today, it is I, Julia. Uh, once you go to the game... I will slowly increase the volume. I don't think it's making any sound right now. Okay. We're going to find out. Whoa. Dunder. Uh, dunder. Dunder. Let's go. Oh, someone's reading it for me. Oh, yes. Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Ooh. It is in that way that my book is special. Damn, we got a special book? Hell yeah. It is in that way that you are special. Me? I'm special? No, I'm special. You're not special. I'm special. We can't both be special. I'm special? I'm special? Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. It sounded like it was about to go into the uh, roundabout JoJo ending. <laughs> you turned it into like the um, music that was like on Newgrounds. No, I did. What? Music on Newgrounds? <laughs> yeah. What are you this talking about? It's a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. This didn't have voice acting last time, right? No, because we read it. Because Did we read all of it? Oh. oh, there was a narrator. Okay, 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 so I will okay. still get to do my reading. Hey, <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. <laughs> this is the only voice I for this character. <laughs> I'm remembering now. 
<laughs> this Bobby Hill voice. <laughs> hey, Dad. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died. This was the part where I started regretting the voice last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Then I think you were this one last time and you did your old person voice. Hey, Luca. Hey, new head friend here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. That's me. I'm the child's closest <laughs> friend. Me, also a child. <laughs> He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. God, you stink. Well, after I banged on your door till your grand answered, and after I took the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you. Rolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm at a grave. Impression. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't looking around. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. Dad didn't know if you were going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. Wow, you're a real orphan, huh? How old are you? Six? Well, you said six, then then plus six. I guess you're 12. That would probably make I sense. I guess we're both 12. The BG music is too loud. Can you hit escape, Julia? And go to the audio. Wait. That's video? Wait. Please don't change the video resolution. Wait, I can't go back. Just hit enter. Oh my god. What are you doing? I can't! <laughs> Just pick the resolution! <laughs> I want... Try hitting space. A space is usually confirmed for this game. Try That's hitting... what I've been doing! You are such a turd. <laughs> Use the controller. I feel like that's gonna be better. Try the controller. Okay, there we go. I do feel like it'll be better for this game, yes. I agree. Guys, I was pressing all of the buttons and all of them were uh, confirmed. Unplug the controller and plug it back in real quick. <laughs> oh, we're having some struggles. No, not main volume. <laughs> Julia. Just lower the music volume a little bit. No, that's undoing what we just did. How's that? That's probably better. New game. <laughs> Please just <laughs> resume. <laughs> She's not gone. She's just... Mission. Sorry, I meant to say uh, since she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rolo. Of course she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. The old geezer. <laughs> I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, lead the way. Rolo, you sick of shit. <laughs> You're Rolo. <laughs> That's what he's saying to himself. We. Oh, it's me. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. We get the the little badges, and then we can like use them in conversation and stuff. I think was what happened. Um... Tickle badge. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. That charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. I just want the devs to know if they're still watching. Um, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I almost forget. The whole reason I was looking for you. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start out summer. 
How is that? Volo looked to the side suspiciously. Ooh. Not here. Ooh. They might be watching. <laughs> Words. <laughs> they who? Shh. Not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. Is that thunder? Might be. Huh. All right, I just got to tell Gran and then we can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. It was all the same to you. Uh, me at the welcome stand. Your grand still kind of wakes me up. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the stand when you're done. Suit yourself. I won't be long. Your grand's a bitch. Bye. <laughs> Rolo comes in, interrupts I know, our no. funerary time with father. God, I love the style of this game. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Dear reader, forgive me for this interlude. Okay. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? Yeah. <laughs> think back, Julia. Think back really hard. <laughs> you can do it. You can remember. I remember it said tickle on it. Tickle! <laughs> There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. Holy shit. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Ooh. Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh my god, that's right. This game wants me to do all the things. Sorry, everyone. Oh, that's right, I can jump. You got hops. You're Judy Hops. Just some dusty knickknacks. It appears to be raining. Since Grand had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Dog, I love flowery fabric. Find those charms, Julia. This game was made One for you. One of his father's old stethoscopes. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Should listen to his dad's heart, huh? Not for years, though. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing he didn't listen to. Is I. Until it was too late. Fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Oh, pop those shades on. Time to relax. Time to chill. Ponder. Oh, we're pondering. <laughs> yes, Julia owned this child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we got thunderstorm going on outside. Thunder. Na, 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 na. Don't know if you can hear that on the mics, but it's thundering. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of glue, and some loose string. Granny's been huffing glue. <laughs> <laughs> but she huffs it too deep, sucks the glue right up her nose. <laughs> This is a bad time to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> What's back here? Give me a sequence. Oh. <laughs> you keep hitting that button. The well, sometimes they want me to. The Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Got some jars over there. Granny been making jams. Hell yeah. Some jams and jellies and preserves. I'm Eddie. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. Because I fucked off? <laughs> You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. Oh my god. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Step four. I like this narrator. Reader. Yeah, very nice voice. Mm -hmm. Wait, you got to go upstairs first. I remember On there was the like hand, stuff upstairs. I suppose there's no reason to run. will be waiting when you return. Dunder. Should I go check the back window? To make sure it's not flooding in? Yeah. Yeah, go check. Do you want me to hold that? Do you want to set it there? I'll set it there. I'll be right back. 
The rain likes to come in our back window if we leave it open. Her name is Kirsten Mize, and she's fantastic. We found her out of over 100 auditions. That's so cool. Her voice is so nice. I would listen to her read the damn dictionary. Check it out, everyone. I got a cat. Are you jealous? Are you jealous that you don't have a cat? Baster612, first time watching live. Glad you could make it in. Thanks for coming. Are you jealous you don't have a cat? Because I have a cat. What? Oh, two cats. Two cats. Let's go. There you go. Gonna check this one there. Some people in cat got some people in cat got two chats. Some people in cat got two chats, okay? I'm not afraid to say it. She's here. Miss Aliv. The perfect kitty. Perfect girl. All the cats are here. The whole family is here to play the video game. Yeah, you have to sit like that now. Damn, some people got three cats. What the hell? Eight cats. Mom lets you have eight cats. Mom should have told you to stop at some point. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. All right, now we're ready. Now we're ready to game. The the uh, water was certainly coming in. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So you saved it. I saved our apartment from flooding. Big time. Big time. Meh. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. That's fair. There's probably like incredible charms in there. Had commandeered the upstairs closet when she Good moved point. In. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Look at that. We got, got one. Hide. There's Jekyll. Nice. Good joke. Can't jump on my own bed. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though <gasps> it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Nice sweater, Luca. Damn, it's really coming down. Chill. chill. Oh my God, I look so cute. Look at me. I want this sweater in real life. I just got a sweater that looks a lot like that, actually. You're right. Actually, you Gwen did. moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Mm. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. I would go put it on if I didn't have Joy in my lap. Maybe I'll put it on later if she gets up. She won't. Grand but she probably won't. Undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Hell yeah. Yeah, we are replaying the demo portion. I don't think we have a choice, but also we would rather do it this way. Yeah. So that I, we can have it all sort of like yeah. in one go. I need the refresher. And we just get to experience the nice stuff again. Yeah. Oh God, I gotta play this wonderful video game again. Young oh. would spend hours hiding in the bushes waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. Ah, oh. <laughs> the French champagne. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Damn, this garden rips though. Yeah, I don't think she needs the beginner's guide. I yeah, think she's, she's like she's expert, got it. probably expert level. Do we have the next level of guide available for grandma? Grandma guide? If we get her the intermediate guide, this thing is going to be it's outrageous. Popping off. Hey, Gran, I'm going to go hang with Rolo for the day. See you later. Hold up now. I have to do a second old person voice. A different one. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? I'm going to say it, Gran. Kind of hot. She's kind of hot. Gran's hot. She's a hot Gran. The last oh, no, we're the special. <laughs> Sorry. 
I thought like I had missed you saying the line. We were just gonna go uh, ponder for the day. Just gonna go chill for the day. Yeah. We were just gonna go chill for the day. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. You boys always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. And make sure you're done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Impressive. Yeah. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. We did it. That is Incredible. Charms. I'm a great liar. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. I'm ready. Introduce me to the Chronicle. I would love to be introduced to the Chronicle. I'm wearing my the Sunday Chronicle vest. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. Dope. You can see the turning point, which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back. And oh, that's right. Terms, creating new branches. Oh, yeah. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Oh, oh yeah. that drawing's so cute. That's very cute. Let's try it again. Let's tell her we're going to go ponder for the day. Hide. <laughs> we were just going to go ponder for the day. <laughs> you know, normal thing to say. Normal 12-year-old boy stuff. We were just going to go ponder for the day. Yeah, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day exactly? This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Laugh with you now. It's so loud. It, the rain is so loud outside. I might have to close the window. Whoa, the thunder! No, but it's so spooky and good. The thunder is cool. Oh, and Luca, you and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Do you not want me to read my I'm lines? I'm sorry. Are I, you like mad at me? I was thinking about how I reverted her voice to be back to Luca's voice or Rolo's voice or whatever. <laughs> and it distressed me. Luca's my character, Rolo's your character. <laughs> we need like the, uh, do you remember that um, video of like the kid with the, yeah. the trumpet, the trumpet? <laughs> Was it a trumpet or a trombone? Yeah, a trombone. All right, let's go find Rolo. Rolo Tomasi. Come on, come on. Woo Dang it, Rolo. Hey, hey. Hi, it's the, the name of the guy. few visitors. The welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. It's the name of the gang. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover a secret path. <laughs> it reverses into the woods. <laughs> like Beautiful. Homer Simpson going Chapter into the hedge. Two. Yes. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. The foul Damn. harvest? I'd eat at a place called the foul harvest. I don't think I would. That sounds like what you don't want to eat, specifically. I would drink at a place called the Foul Harvest, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, That's perfect for sure. bar name. I would definitely drink there. Talk to this hot hyena. That's my fursona. It is your fursona. It's the, with the, Elsa the, hair. The dandy version of my fursona. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Care. Oh, 
Hey there, pal. William Kerr was the CEO Sorry, of Kerr. Colonial Not Harvest care. Company. My bad. I don't care. I'm Kerr. <laughs> he had become a fixture around town over the past few years. Oh, Joy's leaving. I can sit After normally. After the of Valentine fertilizer, the town was hungry to welcome a new source of employment. Excited for the big festival? Oh, um, sure. Come now, when I was your age, there was nothing more exciting than a town festival. The food, the music, the dancing. Sounds pretty... I thought it said sounds pretty tight. Sounds, sounds, sounds pretty sounds, tight, Mr. Kerr. Sounds pretty tight, Mr. Kerr. Sounds <laughs> sick as hell, dude. Couldn't, be, couldn't be more stoked about it, bro. YOLO, Mr. Kerr. It's pretty tight shit. Here, gosh dang right it is. That was hard to say in this accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to letting off some steam myself. Make sure to invite all your little friends. I couldn't keep Rolo away if I tried. <laughs> Excellent. Sorry, Luca. I've got to get back to the proverbial grindstone. Our harvest awaits and all that. Ho oh, now! We call ho. Is that Felix? People are asking for my sweater change. Do you want to go do a sweater change? Yeah. I'll do the sweater change into the new sweater. Joy's panicked. <laughs> what happened? I heard a thump. And I... I'm sorry we're pausing so much tonight, y'all. A lot's been going on. I realize I'm just rocking out to this music, but I'm really excited to play more of this game. I'm pumped. I want everyone to know, this week I've watched two movies. It's a lot of movies for me. Recently, past couple of years. It's not as much like it as I remember it being. No. But it's more like it than my other sweat. It's more red than I remember it being. I remember it being reverse. But it's it's definitely more like it. But it's not as like it as I thought. But you know what? Still still cute sweater. Still cute sweater. Got it uh thrift thrift shopping. Got it thrift shopping. Yeah. For like seven dollars or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Should we get back to the game? Yeah. Blink. Talk to this dogman. <laughs> Sorry, young Mr. Van Horn. Can't talk now. Very busy with preparations. Mayor Augustus Valentine was not busy. Oh, sorry, Gus. How many times do I... It's Mayor Valen... <sighs> Flustered, Gus instinctively loosened his tie. Keep up the good work. I must briefly attend to a concerned citizen. Is it me? It's nothing. Keep at it. All right. What can the mayor of Beacon Pines do for you today? Oh. Just saying I, I guess. Hmm. Well, good day to you too, young Mr. Van Horn. Who's up on the ladder? You can't talk to Felix. You can't talk to Felix. Oh, nice. Just hanging out. That no was good. urgency here, just hanging out. Just being chill. Hey, Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Sinclair continued snoring and lifted one eyelid just enough to see who it was. A tactic he often used to avoid undesirable con- Yoo-hoo, Mr. Sinclair. Ah, don't you see I'm sleeping, boy? How's the napping today? Crummy as always. 
We used to have a perfectly nice view from here. Till perennial harvest put that monstrosity of a building in the way. Why don't you just move your chair a bit? Oh my god, we just read... And am I the asshole about this situation? Yeah. <laughs> Why should I be the one that moves? If it's showdown they want, I ain't gonna be the one who blinks. Oh, hello! What? <laughs> Sorry, Joy put her face in my hand. Go in his house. Take his stuff. I want in. He's sleeping. It's free stuff. Come on, Andy. Grab his wallet. I'm sorry, Iggy. I can't. Do it or we pound ya. Yep. Yeah, but my mom said. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. If I had a nickel for every year, but. I'd be freaking king of nickels. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. They trying to rob this red panda over here? Mr. Van Horn, do you have a moment? It's just Luca. Golly, I'm sorry, it's my first week at Perennial Harvest. He pulled a pen from the pocket of his sweater vest and began to frantically jot something down on a clipboard. Wonderful, it won't happen again. If we are going to be on a first name basis, then you can call me Pete. Oh, nice to meet you, Pete. Sorry, what, what are you writing? Oh, just documenting. Gosh, it's exciting to be a part of something so darn special. You know, it's not just about new fountains and phone booths. We're gonna change the world. And it all starts here in Beacon Pines. Isn't that amazing? Uh-huh. Pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty tight. Anyway, I better get... Oh, that reminds me. We'd love to hear your thoughts. My thoughts? You bet. If we're going to change this town, we need to get every detail right. That sounds intense. Ha ha ha. Changing the world is intense. So what do you say? Could you answer a few questions? Well, I guess if it's quick. Wonderful. Open to answering a few quick questions. One down. See, it's not that hard, is it? Oh, okay. We're going already. Question two! What is something you love about Beacon Pines? I've never really thought about it before. I think it's the art style. I think it's the art style, the ambiance, the sound design. It's just all good. Some I love that we're floating in a little bit of space. Really great voice actor for the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a great time, to be honest with you. Perfect! It's the only place I've lived. See, that wasn't so painful. Pete stopped scribbling and glanced up from the clipboard. Was it? Uh, I guess not. Huzzah! Our first three questions answered in record time. Are you literally writing everything down? Thank you so much for your time. I need to process these answers. We can save the rest of your thoughts for later. Okay. A harvest awaits! <laughs> okay. It's a weird thing to say instead of goodbye. It's a little culty. It's true. A titty bit culty. A little bit. Okay. Hi, Joy. You back? Are you back, little buddy? What are you doing? <laughs> Are you slow rolling him? <laughs> I'm concerned. Hey, Jetson. Is the line playing any tunes today? Kind of looks like Scout from here. Yeah, a little bit. No bites this morning, I'm afraid. Come to think of it, I can't remember the last time I reeled one in. But hey, it was never about the catch. This is where I come to think. To ponder, one might say? Yeah, that's what my dad used to do here. My dad. That reminds me. If you ever want his chair back. I've taken to standing recently. It keeps me from falling asleep at the reel. 
If you don't mind, I think it should stay. Not at all. An empty chair makes for a great listener. Just ask Clint Eastwood, am I right? Whenever Luca saw his dad's chair by the pond. Do you remember when he did that thing where he was talking to the chair and pretending that Obama was in it? You don't remember that thing where Clint Eastwood was talking to the empty chair and pretending that Obama was in it? Are you having a fever dream? No, look at chat. Look at chat. You're not looking at chat! Sorry, Joy brought us a toy. I get it. They're saying... He he did what? That Well, they didn't get it. <laughs> PLP, I remember that? Um, the bottom hat said the fucking empty chair? Oh, sorry, oh Joy. Oh my god, you're dropping stuff everywhere. Including your memories. She didn't see it. She didn't hear it. Now, we're not playing with Joy right now. We're doing a live stream. And talking about the time Clint Eastwood talked to the empty chair. Oh, she's looking for it now. That's so sad. Way to go, buddy. Where to go? All right, you keep going. I'll okay. Get it for her. It reminded her. him of the days they'd pack up a couple of sandwiches and fish until sundown. Oh. Yes. Oh my God, I'm in a memory. Luca opened the tackle box and picked the perfect bait. <laughs> out in the moonlight. When the uh, movie Jacob and I yesterday watched uh, Memories of Murder. And um, an upsetting movie, but hilariously started off by Jacob <laughs> singing that yeah, a lot. Every time I saw the word memory, I would sing it. Yeah. It's a great movie. <laughs> Inappropriate for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for that bit. But what are we doing? Luca tied a shoestring to the hook. What oh. fish could resist a nice shoestring? You didn't want to tickle the fish? Nah. Are you about to go fishing? Well, I guess this should be like, if this is his dad. Hank? G give it a... Give it a good cast now. Even though I do kind of like a Brooklyn Bobby. Yeah. You have to reel it in a bit faster, or your catch will lose interest. Hey. Go pick out your bait from the tackle box, buckaroo. Luca tied a shoe. What fish could... Get it? Get it? Oh, oh. It turned red. Easy there, buckaroo. You don't know your own strength. Luca tied what fish? Luca tied what fish? <laughs> Gotta watch that line. Watch that line tension. The tensile strength. A boot! Where do you think the other one is? Hard to say. Sometimes things drift away. That's not fair. No, it's not. Well, wherever it is, I hope that other boot at least has a sock to keep it company. Oh, It's very sweet of him. Ah. Go pick out your damn bait <laughs> from the tackle <laughs> box. What fish? Don't break it. Don't break the line. I caught the same boot. Maybe I should try tickle. Try to tickle the tackle. Luca gently baited a feather onto the hook. Oh, a little tickle tackle. The surface. A little tickle tackle surface skim. A duck! Rubber ducky. Well, I'll be switched. It's your old rubber ducky. You were just a little drooling ball of fur when you lost that. Cried for days. I told you it'd turn up. 
<laughs> Go pick out your bait from the tackle box. <laughs> Wait. I think we have to come back here with more things. With more... Can you, like, walk away? No, it's all the same joystick. I'm saying, can you walk away now? No, it's all the same joystick. <laughs> we got. I know get we more, have to go there. We, we come back. But what if we explore a little bit, like down here? Can we what do if that? that? What if we do that? Open it. All oh, right, Rolo's fucking <laughs> waiting up there. I guess this guy. He's always got these plans. The boys had a good thing going, as long as they kept old Jeff happy. Let's hear they it for had the boys. An source of precious materials to add to the treehouse. Can't believe how hard it's raining. Whatever happened to soft raining? <laughs> I love After this treehouse. Yeah. Rollo became obsessed with them building their own Hank Atomic Star Scraper. Hank Atomic Star Scraper. It was some time before Luca realized it was Rollo's way of keeping him occupied. Hank Star Scraper is my favorite Star Wars hero. <laughs> We're chilling now. Imagine telling your friend you have to meet up for some really cool thing you have to show them and they show up and they just like do not talk to you. <laughs> Silently just throw themselves in a bean bag. Okay, what's this top secret plan to start our summer? So you know the abandoned warehouse by my place. The old Valentine building? Yeah, well, it isn't abandoned. What makes you think that? Get this. Last night, it was glowing. Glowing? Are you sure? Kinda. That place has been empty since... Since the Val Harvest? Yeah. Who would even want to poke around that place? We would, Rolo. We would. Wait, 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 wait. It, it was just a busted old warehouse. I just meant we could do some research at the library. You, you want to actually go to the warehouse? Wait, so Rolo, your big plan was to go to the library and do some research <laughs> about an old factory? That was your, like, huge summer plan? Yeah, no one can know that he goes to the library. <laughs> Why would you even need to hide that information? What do you expect to find? Answers. My mom's out there somewhere. And it seems like everyone wants to pretend that she's gone for good. She's definitely not in the grave. You don't have to come, Rolo, if you don't want to. If you're a coward, baby, little dumbass, little baby infant. Luca, I'm the world's oldest toddler. <laughs> I can't be. I'm. I have no qualifications. I'm both too young and too old. Luca, remember that time I sort of accidentally burned down the chicken coop, and you jumped in and said it was your fault before my paw throttled me. This is a flaming chicken coop sort of deal. I got you back. Thanks, Rollo. Now that I think about it. Poking around a decrepit fertilizer warehouse is exactly how I want to spend the first day of summer. Let's go, motherfuckers! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Lucas' winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. But ultimately decided On the sweater was enough. The clouds were hey, Chidi. Right, Joy's back. The boys could tune into strange Hi. patterns of static. What? You want onto my lap? I doubt that. You never want onto my lap when Jacob's an option. But you're sitting in the driver's seat. She likes to be in the driver's seat. Rollo thinks it's aliens. He always thinks it's aliens. Hi, sweetie. I know. You probably just want something like to play. That's okay. Oh, hi. She's headbutting me. Luca looked up at the satellite dish. What? You want to get in? You want to get in? <gasps> Yay! Polo nearly killed himself putting that up into the tree. Yay! Hi! 
Oh, we got pull. All right. Nice. While it didn't turn the radio into an interstellar communicator, as he'd hoped, it did at least boost the signal enough to overhear truckers one town over. Getting all that sweet trucker intel. Hell yeah. Truckers, they know a thing or two about the open roads. This is truck 909. I got it, poop. Hey! Now you'll get to find out how you have to sit very uncomfortably mm -hmm. to use the controller when Joy is in your lap. What a blessing. Are you Rolo or an old man? That's Rolo. I'm just catching my breath a bit. Good. Okay, trip. Try the new charm with the fishing memory. Oh. You could do that. If you were curious. I'm always curious. That's why they call you Curious Julia. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm here to fish! Luca tied a small magnet to the line. That's not gonna catch a Fishing fish. Fishing is a law of attraction. Luca, come on. Submarine. Might get a submarine. Come on, submarine. A key! I'm obsessed with the lighting on that right tree. Yeah, it's really cool. Where do you think the lock is for this key? Now, why would we want to find that? Because then we would know the secret. Ugh, oh, that's no fun. The second we know what it unlocks, it just becomes a boring old key. Damn. Right now, this key could unlock anything. Cool. This dude's pondering too much. Yeah. Did anything change here? Okay. No. They're still just doing their doing their thing. Oh, we got some new friends. Holden Wilder ran the local paper of record. The Beacon Beacon. Beacon Beacon. Hey, Mr. Wilder. Morning, Luca. What's the day I have in store for you? I was wondering if you heard any news about... News? The Beacon Beacon knows the news that needs knowing. Any news about the old fertilizer warehouse? Mm, nope. Oh. Rolo thought he saw some lights there last night. Mm, Rolo ought to be careful poking around that part of town. The winds of change are blowing. And change is a dangerous animal. A changerous animal. We got the change token. Damn, we're gonna DBZ fuse. We could all use a little change. Yeah. Is this is this me? Luca. Just the fella I was looking for. It's not me. Hey Roxy, what's up? Oh right. Rendezvous with Roxy. This is an important turning point. The first time where your charms will change the course of fate. Ugh. And currently, we only have one suitable charm at our disposal. What? We got so many charms. Have no fear. We can always return later using the Chronicle once we find more charms. Well, now I'm just rambling. Where were we? <coughs> have you seen my blockhead brother today? Charlie Brown? He skipped out before breakfast. Well, not really, no. Can't say I have. Can't say or won't say. Roxy, come on, would I lie to you? Darling, sweet cheeks, baby. Luca, wait up, I forgot to tell you. Roxy might be looking around here. I'm not very observant. <laughs> I'm a blind tiger. This is one of her favorite places to stand around and be useless. Rolo. So we need to make sure she doesn't spot us. Rolo, my dude. My guy. 
Why are you, why are you doing that to anything with your body? Well, you're not scared of you. You're not scared. You're not. You're not scared, are you? <laughs> uh, she's harmless. And a jump. It's just, just right around that corner, isn't she? Why would you not look around the corner before you started talking? <laughs> don't mind me. Just over here lurking uselessly. I don't know what happened to my voice. Oh, hey, just... How did they end up with such different accents? I don't know. <laughs> That's it's, uh, it's the spirit of an old man. Nice weather we're having, eh? I couldn't help but notice you snuck out this morning before breakfast. I wasn't hungry. Also, couldn't help but notice your morning chores were left unchored. Right, see, I, I, I'm gonna level with you. I'm sick and tired <laughs> of digging up carrots. Take a stand, Rolo. <laughs> we all gotta pick up the slack since the foul harvest. Almost every carrot I dig up is rotten. And the rest look like they were hit with Hank Atomic Shrinkle Ray. All the more reason to keep on digging. And there's got to be more than life than puny carrot. Look, Roxy, look at that places to be, so if you don't mind. Oh, I do mind. I'm not going to catch hell again because of you. So either you march yourself home and harvest those carrots, or I haul you home myself. Rolo froze as Roxy took a step toward him. You died. <laughs> Roxy killed you. To save his friend from being dragged home. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. <laughs> a little chill. Just be a little chill. In the past, he found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little chill. Come on, Roxy. It's the first day of summer. The sun's shining. We just want to take it easy. Let's leave tomorrow's problems for tomorrow. Come on. You high? Roxy. <laughs> That's great and all. But Rolo's problems have a way of becoming my problems. I feel that. Paul always says, tomorrow's work is best left for yesterday. March, you big oaf. Ah, rich. I expect a full report about the Valentine place. A full report! We're going to have to reverse time. We can talk to Squirrel Girl, her face. <laughs> I'm sure we talked about it last She's time. She's really intense. She is very intense looking. So, Fitz, what? That's not the voice. <laughs> I did Rolo's voice. You did. So, Fitz, what are you up to on this lovely day? Nope. Cool, cool, cool. Damn, shut down. Miss Hatch could often be found near the fountain. Too absorbed in a book to be distracted. Like Bill. The two wandered down the wooded path, unaware of the danger ahead. Oh. Oh, this is getting good. Day, Mrs. Nelson. Morning, Luca. Any big plans for the summer? Not really. <laughs> I'm from a streetcar named Desire. <laughs> Mr. J. Mr. J. Any big plans? <laughs> Have you seen Mr. J? Heard anything about the old fertilizer warehouse? Any strange happenings? Can't say I have. Either way, a dusty old warehouse is no place for a young boy. It's Miss Olive. You be safe now. It's Miss Olive. It's Miss Olive. Ooh. Oh, we found we found the cool this squad. Is this the cool team club? Um, Piper. Oh, hey Luca. What's up? You know it's summer break, right? Of course. And it's like the morning. Correct. <laughs> and you're studying. Like they say, the early bird. Gets the proper education required for a successful and fulfilling career later in life. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Zariel. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Hiya, Luca. Um, Could you um, please tell this lazy butt to help out the cafe? Um, Lumi, Zariel, would you like, I mean, would like, Lu, let me try again. Lumi, Zariel would like you. Luca, let me give you a little gem of advice. If you never do what you don't love, then you'll never work a day in your life. Wow. You're really setting the kid up for success. Honestly, though, they're right. Wow. That's why I'm ending the stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love how bouncy we are. Boink, 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 boink. Boink, 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 boink. Oh my god, it's a bat! Hey, Dawn. Sorry to wake ya. Mm. Oh, Dawn, you're so cute. No problem. It comes with the job. Dawn had dreams of becoming a big-time reporter. At night, she searched for the story that could be her big break. By day, she hawked papers at the newsstand. When do you sleep, bro? During the day. Not During if you're newsstand. hawking papers. You She's... gotta sleep in a bed occasionally. I'm obsessed. This is like my style goals. <laughs> you you want to be this bat. What's up? Dawn. Rolo said he saw something strange going on at the warehouse. You know anything about that? Hmm. You might say I've heard some things. I'm working on a story right now. I'm working on... I'm working on a story about it right now. Right now? A story about it? <laughs> working on it? So what's going on? Can't see quite yet. I still need to follow up on a few leads. Keep me in the loop, okay? Sure thing. Things seem to be quiet in town today. Yep. Everyone is preparing the, for the festival. She'll be back to normal tomorrow. Catch you then? Yeah, catch you then. Oh, and Luca? I'm really sorry I haven't been able to find anything out about your mom yet. I'm just grateful that you tried. I'm still keeping my ears up. Diner? Hell yeah. Hmm, guess Miss Fratelli is getting ready for the festival. Sorry, Mrs. Fratelli. Please, she's married. She's a married woman. Don't ship. Do not ship her. She's married. Do not married. ship. You see this freaking cat? She's got a big smile on. This is probably a good time to run ads, actually. You're, you're still going in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Should we run some ads? We're going to run three minutes of ads. Uh, we'll see you in three minutes. <laughs> you can do it. I did it. It's doing. The ads are running. See this happy kitty? You can't see this happy kitty. We got a cat in both laps right now. We're, we're double lapping it. Oh no, our ear like just doesn't make it. It's like right here. If you scoot back a little bit, they'll be able to see. There's the ear. There's the ear. Proof. Evidence. Cat evidence. I think what they want is for us to be so overheated. Yeah. Because I am warm in this sweater and there's a cat in my lap. Yeah. I said that if I got warm, I would just take off this blazer, but Joy's in my lap and I can't really do that. Is that scaring her? No. There's nothing we can do. It's a shame. I saw someone starting a new job tomorrow and they're very nervous about it. You'll be fine. But congratulations on the new job and it's, it's going to go great. Or Everyone has fine. a first day on the job. Yeah. Everyone can relate. Just rem remember, you know, you're there on day one to like learn how to do it. And yeah, you're not supposed to know everything all at once. The goal oh, of day one right. is to know where the bathroom oh. is. And to spend most of your time in the bathroom. Yeah. That was actually the, my goal most days. <laughs> yeah. How can we tell the difference between Joy and Olive? Here's Olive shape, right? 
Here's Olive. If you look at Olive, she's like this. Duke of Joy. She like that. That doesn't make that doesn't mean anything. We have no orientation for what you're talking about. This is all. This is like Olive's side, right? <laughs> right. And then there's Joy. <laughs> what? She's like a. She's like one of those drag racing cars. She's got a slope. <laughs> She does, but that's not the easiest way to tell them apart. <laughs> I was thinking about it yesterday. Joy has darker coloration. She's only got the the dark patch over one eye. Olive has it over both eyes. Joy is also smaller and usually covered in eye gunk. Yeah, Joy is smaller and she has a tinier head. Uh, they they look very different once you know them, once you see them, uh, as, as we do in real life. Yeah. They only seem the same at first. Joy is, um, her back is mostly black and then this little speckled thing, but Olive's got a lot of brown on her back. Yeah. Have I read Nona the Ninth yet? I have not. It's, it's next on my list after I finish the book I'm currently reading. So I will be reading it soon. I'm excited to get into it. Someone thanked us uh, for showing off Olive's orange slice pillow cone. You're welcome. We found that it was the only thing that worked for Olive. Yeah, anything else, like she freaked out. Cones, she would absolutely panic about. Um, we tried that like shirt thing and uh, we would often catch her stuck because she would pick her legs up through the little leg hoops and then walk forward and then get her little legs stuck in the onesie. So she was just like dragging herself on her front paws. Yeah. Only the orange. Only the orange slice. Only through becoming orange cat could she be satisfied. Yeah. But she's been looking good recently. Yeah, so she's doing great. We haven't had to resurrect it. Someone asked what I'm reading right now. I've been reading the uh, the Soul Home series by Sarah Lynn. It's, uh, it's, it's very cool. There's like five or six of them right now. And I've been, I've been enjoying them a lot. It's got a really cool magic system that involves like... Is that the spirit home? Like, like settlement building in your own soul, basically. You got to like get materials and like build... Build a bird box in your soul. N- not a bird box. I don't know what that means. That's but that song. like a big house. It's the song. And depending on your like soul arc. Yeah, the Weir Key Chronicles. That's what it is. Weir Key Chronicles. Soul Home is the first one. Nice. Have either of you read Pure and Easy? I did. I loved that book. I thought it was so good. I haven't or read P- anything Pure in a while. Nezzy. Unfortunately. Pure and Nezzy, I guess. I don't know they might be giants. If anyone <laughs> references they might be giants, I won't know the reference. Hi, sweetie. I know. I know. He's being mean. He's being mean. But yeah, I haven't uh I haven't read anything in a while. Julia's uh illiterate. Uh, it's true. Unfortunately. Yeah. When she does voices for the games, she's just like feeling out the vibes. Yeah. It's of the sentences. Actually. It's a honed skill. Jacob, I thought you knew every band, except for They Might Be Giants. That's the only one. My one blind spot <laughs> is They Might Be Giants. In fairness, the song is not called Bird Box in Your Soul. It's Bird House. Bird House in Your Soul. But you said Bird Box. I know, because like I'm movie stupid. Bird Box. <laughs> I don't want a bird box in my soul. That sounds scary. What movies did we watch this week? Memories of Murder. Mad yeah. Dog. Did we watch another one? Mad Dog? Mad, mad God. Mad. <laughs> what is happening to you? I don't know. I'm tired. We watched Mad God and we watched Memories of Murder. Yeah. I thought there was another one. We, oh, watched, no, was... uh, we watched Prey. Prey. Yeah. yeah. We watched Prey. That one ruled. Prey was so fun. Oh, Prey was so the, much fun. Prey as in the, the newest Predator movie. Yeah. Um, ads are probably over. Yeah, but now I'm stuck. 
You got a double cat situation. They're sniffing noses right now. Can you move on? Why is your mouth open? I'm going to hand this to you. Okay. And then I'm going to do this. Sorry, Bo Shark controller. Okay. And I'm going to do this. And then you're going to play the game. For the sure. people. The people demand it. History Museum. Hey, Bert. Hey, Luca. I'm doing some fact checking for the town history exhibit. Look, Look, kid, I'm just here to put up the lights. But did you know when the town was founded, there were only seven citizens and they were all found dead? <laughs> That's not what it said, but you skipped ahead anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. They weren't. If you're just listening to the stream, they weren't all found dead. I made that up. <laughs> it said they all like worked in the mine or something, and there was only one dirt road leading to town. I mean, they're probably dead now. <laughs> and there still is only one road leading to town. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> What does that sign say? No talk 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 touching. Talk a cheeky? Oh, no touching. touching. Not talk a cheeky. You touched. Hey Griffin. How's the ice cream gig going? Not great. It's still pretty cold out. And I'm in the business of selling cold. I'm sure things will warm up soon. Mr. Tolliver's not at his grocery stand. He's prepping for the festival, I guess. Gotcha. Kaz, you love ice cream on a cold day? What? How is that possible? How? Is cold on cold? Hey, Solomon. Apologies, no time for chit chat. Oh, damn, he meant it. He wasn't faking. Jeff's hardware closed down about a year ago. The effects of the foul harvest stretched wide. When there are no crops in the field, tractors don't need fixing. Mm. Looks like the library hasn't opened yet. With the wire on the mic? Why? It has to be there because they have a cat in my lap. Yeah, why does the wire need to be moved? Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Oh, hey, Mr. Nuncrete, I was just on my way to... I just sold the last jar of your grandmother's preserves. Oh, yeah, this guy's like the grandma perv. Oh, that's right. Can't stock the shelves fast enough, turns out. Hey, that's great, but I'm actually... I guess Juniper will just have to swing by with more of her lovely jam. Uh-huh. Well, don't let this old man slow you down. You just remind her that she still owes me that dance. A promise Gran regretted the second it was made. Will do. She's a fine woman, that Juniper. Yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. A real fine woman. <laughs> Y'all did say the grandma was hot. Yeah, I mean, she I mean, is. We're all this guy. <laughs> we just don't want to admit it. Uh, gotta go. Sweeter than any jam on earth. Yeah. The phone booth was brand new. Part of Perennial Harvest's Beacon Pines Reborn initiative. It didn't see much use. Beware. Oh, we got a little friend. Oh, hey, Luca. Hey, Joey. How's the bug hunt going? Not great. Bugs have been shy this week. Bugs get shy? Oh, sure. Bugs aren't that different from people. Sometimes they just want to be left alone. If you're going into weep wood, you have to be careful where you step. No bug crunching. Got it. 
You better not crunch a single bug. I swear to God. I swear to God. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Eat it. Mm. Oh, that's you. Mm, that's strange. Where the bees? Hey, Where the they be at? After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. But the lights are on. The lights are on. The Valentine Mansion loomed over every other building in town, both figuratively and literally. It's a dope house. I love the house of the turret. Oh, beautiful! This is my kind of house. Be sitting right there on that bench. Hey, hey, Having a cup hey. of coffee. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for the 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 maybe when we have a house the maybe if we have a house i'm so excited for we'll definitely have a house to sit no maybe about it to sit outside the path led into a small hollow at the edge of weepwood okay no turning back now caution electrified fence is that sign new? The fence thrummed with a gentle electric buzz. Thrum. Thrummed is a really good word. Yeah, I like thrum. Because it feels, it sounds like what it sounds like. Like the hum, thrum. It does. Okay, so what would Rolo do if he was here? Luca often asked himself what Rolo would He'd do. He'd slam himself face first into the fence, dying on contact. <laughs> <laughs> Luca. And Luca, I'm gonna scale this fence with the. I see this barbed wire at the top. I want to see closer if it's barbed wire. <laughs> maybe it's just like a ring of of normal wire, not barbed. And maybe it's not actually electric. So that he could rule out that option. I'm definitely not touching that thing. As sparks flew from the fence, the light atop that section shut off. Two bulbs remained. Two bulbs remain. Damn. Nice. That's dope. One more to go. You missed. Nice. The fence's buzzing gave way. Okay, moment of truth. Wait, I wanted to. Every kid in town knew the old Valentine Fertilizer Building. Long abandoned, the warehouse once served as the industrial heart of Beacon Pines. Now it stood only as a reminder of things left behind. The dormant building showed strange signs of life. Okay, so Rolo wasn't exaggerating for once. What's going on here? I don't know, it just kind of looks like Brooklyn. It does. There was only one way to find out. <laughs> Brooklyn Pines. Hey. The hose emitted a subtle sound. It was actively draining oh. some kind of liquid. You don't want to check the, the, the grabbage? Water almost diseased. It flowed slowly into the water. Drink it. Drink the water. Wow, that smells awful. Too bad Rolo's not here. He loves stink ass trash garbage. <laughs> Nasty little freak. That's his bed. I'm surprised they brought his bed out of you. Locked. Luca thought he heard faint sounds coming from the other side of the door. He pressed his ear against the cold metal to hear better. A zipper? Footsteps? The sound of footsteps grew louder. Hello? Uh, shirt. Shirt. Hey, we got shit. Yay! We got shirt. The heavy steel door knocked Luca to the ground. Disoriented, he looked up to see an imposing figure silhouetted in a green glow. It lunged toward him. He tried to scramble away, but felt a gloved hand latch onto his ankle. 
Luca watched his fingernails leave trails in the dirt as the hand slowly dragged him back through the door, into the lab, into the green light. Put on the green light. Oh, I want to select shit. <laughs> no, this one's about change. This is a story Which we could all use change. a little of. <laughs> it was far from the sort of change Luca imagined for himself. But change is, after all, a dangerous animal. The end? I probably should have warned you about this. There are many paths that our story can take. Most will end in tragedy. But don't let that discourage you. We will find the ending that this story deserves. I just know it. From here on out, a charm will have a check mark when it's been used to its full potential at a given turning point. Now, let's try something different. Ah. Oh, look at that good drawing. So kind of got a silhouette like Pete from. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Disney's Pete. I love these oh, drawings. That drawing's so good. I definitely want to look up the artist after this. It reminds me so much of the, the lackadaisy yeah. artists. Oh, and they're so good. We gotta be a In little past, shit. He found the best way to deal with an enraged Roxy was to be a little shit. Make a break for it. What have you done? <laughs> Did that little shit just kick me? Why don't you want you little twerps? You gotta come home eventually. Sorry. Sorry. Now we go low with Rolo. Oh, Jamie's posting the artist link. Thank you, Jamie. Draz posted it too. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Draz. Thank sorry. you, our mods. Sorry about that. Rolo can get overexcited sometimes. Solomon Valentine, current ward of and future successor to the Valentine fortune, huffed as he brushed off his pants. Do you want to voice him or shall I? I voiced him last time. Okay, yeah. A town of complete and utter fools. One wonders if it's worth taking anything here seriously. Either way, I'm really sorry. No matter. How are you doing? Me? Yes, with all that business about your mother and whatnot. Oh, he cares. Oh, um, getting by. Still no word from her at all. No. That is truly a shame. Damn, now we can feel shame for the first time. Your grandmother has taken residence to keep house? Yeah. And how is that going? We mostly stay out of each other's way. You make it sound like she's rarely at home. It's not like that. She just has a lot to do. Mm-hmm. She's still settling in and trying to figure out how to make ends meet. Indeed. Well, count your blessings. It's better to have a caretaker who is rarely around in lieu of one who tries to compensate by smothering you with attention. That doesn't sound so bad. Trust me when I say, it's best to rely on yourself. Family has a way of creating more problems than they solve. Who is this? The family. The family. Solomon trifled a gesture toward the approaching heiress, Valentine. Speak of the devil. Uh, Hot dog! Hot dog! Don't wander off like that. I'm much too busy to be looking all over for you. Apologies, heiress. I was just taking a stroll through town. Strolls are for commoners. You're a Valentine now. I want you to be present for the construction of the History Museum. The future of this town relies on its ability to remember our family's great past. Of course. I love this dude's this dude's face. He, he looks like he's the one character in the game that's from Family Guy. 
Yeah. Oh, jeez. Luca, my boy. <laughs> Luca, my boy, hold up a tick. Uh, sorry, Mr. Uncreed, kind of in a hurry right now. <sighs> Boy's got too much of his father in him. I mean, I am a champion. We were racing. I did, did that run get longer? Like anything ever changes around here. It seems longer. You were just lightheaded from the <laughs> run. You really need to pace yourself better next time. Not sure why I would take advice from second place. Has that sign always been there? Wait, what? You know I don't notice jack shit. Caution, electrified fence. No, that's definitely new. Creepy. How are we gonna get around an electric fence? Don't worry, I've got this. <laughs> he did slam his face into he it. Sure I did. swear I didn't remember that from last time. Yeah. That's sweetie. I wonder if I made that same joke last time. Why did you do that? Paul says you can figure out what the plan was when you're done. Great. What now? Well, I did my part and established that touching the fence is bad. I'm sure you can handle it from here. I have to profess. Remember safe distance. Boink. Whoa, you're a genius! Property of Valentine Fertilizer Company. Looks old. Which means it looks boring. Sorry, I just went to pee. I mean... Sorry, I just went to pee. I think that did it. Luca, you never fail to impress. As the glowing windows of the old warehouse came into view, Rollo began to bounce excitedly. Check it out! Dang, Rollo, you weren't exaggerating for once. Was there any, ever, any doubt? This definitely needs investigating. Good thing two age detectives are out in the case. This is bizarre. This is awesome! Uh-oh. Nice. Did you feel that? What? The excitement in the air? You bet your butt I did. Check out those bottles. <laughs> That's not normal. And the zoos. Oh, man, the door's locked. Try harder. No dice, it won't budge. Oh well. This dumpster's new, right? I bet it's got stuff in it. Can't really see what's in here. Who did all of this? My nose is itching. I think I smell some treasure. Are you sure that isn't the hazardous waste? Just help me get in. Rollo, it would be my honor to throw you in the trash. Come on, lady, look. So, what's in there? Let's see. There's a squish bag of squish. Wow. Good entry. Stagnant sludge. Your natural habitat. Wait, hold the phone. Hold two phones. Check these bad boys out. Are those walkie-talkies? 
just like Hank Atomic Communicators. Do these actually work? Ground command to Hank Atomic. Hank, do you read me? This is Hank Atomic, ground command. You're coming in five by five. How, um... How are your vital readouts, Hank? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Requesting assistance from evac. Help is on the way. Who's that? Someone's coming. Give me your hand. I'm trying. My hands are covered in squish. Scoot over. I'm coming in. It's Pete. Pete. Pete's life took a dark turn after he killed Goofy. <laughs> uh, tell me you saw that? Dude, I don't know what I saw. He's coming back, get down! Is that a body? Did you just put a body on those kids? You put a body on those children. The boy sat petrified under the weight of the bag. Let the body hit the kids. Body <laughs> hit the kids. Oh God, tell me that's not what I think it is. Luca, do you know what separates run of the mill detectives from ace detectives? A ridiculous hat? When the chips are down, ace detectives dig deeper for clues. Rolo felt around at the large sack which burdened them. Uh -huh. He snapped off a tag from just within a small zipper opening in the bag. It's not a badge or something. What's it say? Rolo held the badge up to a faint shaft of light within the dumpster. Dr. Prescott, Deep Engineering. It's a name tag. Who would throw away a bag full of slimy old name tags? I think it's just one name tag in a bag full of something else. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think we should make a break for it. Stay calm. This is no time to panic. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Rolo, calm down. You don't have to squeeze my hand so hard. Dude. I'm not holding your hand. Quit messing around. What other slime-covered hand would be in here? Ah! I am beginning to see the benefits of your run for your lives plan. Red, we've clearly established that I'm faster than you, so I'll go first. Why not go together? Flaming chicken coop, Luca. I'll make sure the coast is clear. After I go, count to 100. If you hear me yell, run. If you don't hear me yell, run. Actually, either way, haul ass. Rolo, I'll give you credit. You sure found an eventful way to start our summer. It's what I do. Well, here goes nothing. Lucas sat in the dark, tracking the sound of Rolo's footsteps as he ran. One, two, three. He pressed his ear to the dumpster wall, straining to hear Rollo's footsteps as they faded away. Fifteen? Sixteen? Seventeen? He tried not to think about the contents of the dumpster as he counted. Thirty-five? Thirty-six? Thirty-seven? The thick stench made it hard to breathe. Screw it, that's long enough! Luca carefully lifted the lid and peered out. Nothing. No sign of Rollo. No sign of the man in the yellow suit. Time to haul ass! I want a haul ass button. Yeah. Badge Luca thing. clambered from the dumpster, stumbling to his knees. He was up like a shot and running, sprinting toward home as fast as he could. Beacon Pines flew by, blurred by the tears that welled up in his eyes. He wouldn't remember getting home at all that night. Throwing his front door open, storming up the stairs to his room and surrendering to sleep almost as abruptly as he hit his pillow. Chapter three. <laughs> Trauma. <laughs> Finding a friend. Chapter three. Whoopsie. Oops. The next uh -oh. morning, it was quieter than usual at the breakfast table. Only the sound of silverware and chewing interrupted the awkward silence. 
Yum, 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 yum. Finish jarring Miss Jam last night. Uh huh. So, that'll need to get delivered into town today to the pervert that lives in the town. <laughs> the Family Guy dog. The Family Guy dog. Okay. So, what did you and Rolo get up to yesterday? Oh, nothing interesting. Oh. Hello. Hey, 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 she let out a long sigh. Her voice was quiet and even. <laughs> Gran? <laughs> Gran, are you okay? I have to take care of something. You have to stay in this house for the day. Under no circumstance are you to leave. What? I am not. If I am not back by dinner. There's stew in the ice box. Stew in the ice machine. But. But nothing. You ought to stay here. Understand? Yeah. Say it. I'll stay here till you get back. Good. Well, that was strange. Time to do my favorite thing. Slam all the cabinets and turn the sink on and off. <laughs> this is that new shit. I have to change clothes again. Are you too warm? I'm too hot. Okay. I can't wear it anymore. A faint electronic sound floated in the air. Is that coming from inside the house? I, I forgot what the, I forgot what that <laughs> puppy elf was. Uh, I gotta close all these things. It's gonna bother me. Whoops, 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 whoops. It sounds, okay, hold on. Is it the walkie talkie? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Rolo, is that you? What's this shirt? What's this shirt I have, huh? Over. Huh? What's this shirt I have? Huh? Huh? Hey. That was a tense moment in this game and you just started what's yelling, this? what's this shirt? What's this shirt I have? Huh? Hey. It's our anniversary merch from Trophy. Yeah, we finally got ours. I'm sorry, we can get back to it. The walkie-talkie was going off, and it was an SOS, and then it sounded like he was uh, launching off again. Strange. Luca glanced at the now silent walkie-talkie. He wasn't sure what to think. That coming from my chest? Was it your front door? That's a front door knock. It couldn't be. Oh, hey, Roxy. If this is about me uh, accidentally kicking you yesterday. Is Rolo here? 
No. Look at me, Luca. This is serious. Is Rolo here? No, I haven't seen him since yesterday. Rolo didn't come home last night. What? A pit formed in Luca's stomach. Where was the last place you saw him? Uh, we were playing around in Weepwood, and then it was late, and we went home. Weepwood? If he's alive, I'm gonna kill that little creep. Is there anything else? Anything he said? Luca's mouth felt dry. No, we, we were just messing around. Okay. I need to go let people know to check the woods. You stay out of trouble. Go see if he's hiding in the library or something. Luca could feel his heart beating in his throat. Can you feel my heartbeat in your throat? Damn, it's a shame that the youngest old person ever, and the oldest young person ever is going to soon be dead. I know. Rolo. Where are you? Why the hell would Rolo be in the library? Oh, right. Rolo likes the library or whatever. Rolo's a real book fiend. Leading to Beacon Pines was long and uninspiring. A sort of natural barrier for the impatient. That's very good. <laughs> no reason to go that way. No reason to go that way. Hey, Bert. Have you seen Rolo? Nope. Though I've mostly been talking to clipboards. <coughs> They're setting up lots of stuff for the festival. This one said he had to process some answers. I told him that was fine. I'll wait right here until he gets back. Sir. Sir. He doesn't want to talk right now. Howdy, Luke. How, how, howdy. Howdy, Lu Luca. <laughs> Hello again, Pete. I'm not Pete, you silly goose. It's Toby. You could have fooled me. Well, hey, it's no problemo. The important thing is we'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. We are all a part of something special, Luca. <laughs> and it all starts... Right here in Beacon Pines, I got it. Toby looked up from the clipboard excitedly. That's right. So how about you start by telling me? Look, no offense, but I got my own stuff to take care of. Go, you joker. We're all a part of this together. You'll let us know when you're free to answer a few questions. Okay. We really need to get back to work. Just a couple more minutes. If Roxy said she will be here, then she will be here. I just don't see why I'm standing around, doing nothing and waiting for Roxy, when I could be standing around, doing nothing and getting paid for it. Come on, Lumi. Roxy needs our help. Ah, uh, my parents won't <laughs> listen. Ah. Uh. No offense, but isn't Rolo always getting into trouble? Something feels different this time. I remembered. I remembered the voice I had to do. <laughs> what can we do to help? We need to check where the adults aren't. So I guess it's up to I guess so I'm taking a nap. <laughs> so I guess it's up to us to check Weep Wood. Our shift doesn't end for another couple of hours. We could spend time making posters. That would be great. I guess. Right. Fitz and I will check Weepwood. We'll be back later to pick up the posters. You think my dad has a map of Weepwood? Let's swing by my house and grab it before we head out. Whoa, who's that hot one? 
and Velma. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the hot one on Velma? His eyes went wide in disbelief. What do you mean vanished? That's impossible. Oh my. He doesn't even see the danger he's in. Is this lady the Oracle of the Chronicle? She might be the Oracle of the Chronicle. Oh my god, she's the hottest one yet! What's this about a child? A missing child? I must stress that the situation is completely under control. Now this is fashion goals, is this one. Yeah, this is what you want to dress like. Yeah, constantly. It just all seems so terrible. And you're sure there's nothing we can do to help? Nonsense, young young Mr. Cotter will turn up safe and sound, I am certain. You just focus on settling in. I trust my sister has supplied you with suitable lodging? Oh yes, Mrs. Valentine has been more than accommodating. We were just telling our daughter, Beck, that... Now where did she run off to? <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a, it's a small town. It's a small town. We don't. That doesn't happen a lot here. I'm telling you right now. You you should get out of here. Escape. You get should out of get here. out of here right Escape. now. Escape. You're too hot to survive. I'm just, I'm just a little, I'm just a little concerned. I'm just a little concerned. Is Lady Gay? Hey, psst, is Lady Gay? I'm gonna get out of here too, just as soon as I'm of age, but right now- Take me with you. Take, psst, take me with you. Dawn! Dawn! Hey, Dawn. Aww. Is it true, Rolo? Is it, is it true about Rolo? I'm just waking up. Yeah, he didn't come home last night. I wonder if it's connected. Connected to what? I was checking in on reports about increased activity around town. What sort of activity? Windowless trucks, mechanical noises, strange lights. Your typical shady stuff. Who would be doing all that and why? Well, I have a few leads. The Valentine family is always suspicious. Perennial Harvest certainly has his resources. Do you have any idea where Rolo could be? The best place to start looking is where the trail went cold. Where did you see him last? We were in Weep Wood, right by Valentine's Fertilizer. I'll check out Weep Wood when my shift ends. Don't. I like you too much. I don't want you to get got. I do my best work at night. Hmm, guess Mrs. Fratelli's getting ready for the <laughs> festival. Is Mrs. Fratelli still alive? Has anyone checked on her? Have we ever seen Mrs. Fratelli? Sharper Valentine, founder of Beacon Pines. Never underestimate what a great man can do given time. Sharper Valentine. Did much, if you ask me. Indulgent. Oh, ho, ho. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, the pervert's not here. Nice. Oh, library. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god. It's what's his face from Skate the Infinity. Cotto volunteered at the library during the summers. He wasn't very social, so he'd dedicate each summer to becoming an expert in a single subject, making him a reliable source of very particular knowledge. If you were to ask Cotto something he didn't know, He'd escape into the dusty old bookshelves and return with just the right thing. Hey, Kato. Kato was lost in his reading. Luca crooked his neck to see the title. Introduction to Melatology. Um, ahem. Oh, hey, Luca. You snuck up on me. Good book. Don't know. Just started it. He gestured to the shelves. I'm really running out of books I haven't read yet. So now it's on to the wonderful world of bees. Turns out, bees are pretty cool. For instance, 
Did you know that around 70% of bee species actually live in underground tunnels? Of that? Or, or that if there are two queens in a hive, they will fight to the death for supremacy? Fight! fight. That's interesting, but you haven't seen Rolo around recently, have you? Not since yesterday. Sorry, I was looking at that outfit and I was like, damn, actually, that would be a cool look. <laughs> right? The bucket hat. Uh, yeah. Overalls, overalls combo. Yeah. Sure. Keep an eye out for him, okay? Do your thing. If I see him, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> I don't know how dire the com the, the circumstances yet. <laughs> Tiny else I wouldn't jumps. be making puns. Hey, Jace. Oh, oh hey, Luca. You go. Did, uh, did Rolo come by? No. I was actually surprised. He's usually here early on days when a new issue drops. Rolo's the biggest Hank Atomic fan I know. Besides myself, that is. <laughs> well, if he does swing by, tell him to meet me you know where. I don't know where. No, no, he knows where. Oh. Roger that, Space Cadet. The bottom corner shelf was a dusty array of thick science books. Only one binding was clean Dick. enough to read. Cellular biology and the chemistry of mitosis. Thanks. Boring. Mycological phosphorescence. Mycologic. <laughs> More, More like... like my complete loss of interest. Hey. hey. Yo, wow. Wow. Ooh, yo, wow. Wait, wow. Whoa. The entire top level of the library was devoted to comics, most of which were Hank Atomic and the myriad of lesser revered spin-offs. The entire top floor of the library was devoted to doujinshi. <laughs> <laughs> this one was Luca's favorite. It was about a world where Kageyama falls asleep and wakes up, and Hinata is tall. <laughs> oh, the cobs I've eaten. A salad-centric travel guide for the mildly adventurous. Oh, the cobs I've eaten? That's amazing. Sally Seashore's simple succulent sundries. Luca brushed off a smudge of dust. Or maybe it was flour. 30 recipes so easy you'll doubt it's even edible. <laughs> nice! Succulent. Succulent. A peek behind the curtain. The methods and ruminations of Patrick C. Montesquieu. One of the greatest acting lines of our time. By Patrick C. Montesquieu. <laughs> Oof. There were rarely any actual new additions. Simply, a variety of existing content rotated into the front display each week. Not fooling anyone. I just got an achievement called Nerd. What sort of monster puts candy behind a locked door? Oh, this is the new character. My right. Bad. Oh yeah, Mr. Nuncree works weird hours sometimes. Do you want to voice the new character? No, I can't. <laughs> what voice should I do for this? <laughs> of course he does. No, that feels too peppy. Of course he does. Yeah, give it sort of a um, Raven from Teen Titans type of cadence. How about you? When do I work? No, what's your name? Luca Van Horn. Your new year? Yep, not by choice. Beck's family moved often, giving her little time to establish any real connections. She would tell you she prefers it that way. I'm looking for my friend Rolo. He didn't come home last night. So he's missing? I guess so. Like, missing missing? Does that sort of thing happen a lot around here? Luca shifted his feet uncomfortably. Just the people I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone related to me. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah. So I should probably get going. 
Hey, wait up. What? Nick pulled a coin from her pocket. I'm coming with you. What? So says the unlucky penny. Unlucky? Yep, well, technically Atlanta not heads. Leave this kid to find his friend alone. But I always do the opposite. Oh, that's kind of like me and Rolo. I guess Rolo is my unlucky penny. That settles it. Pretty sure to never be without their unlucky penny. Let's go find him. The name's Beck. Pleasure to meet you, Beck. I suppose I could use some help. Try to keep up. What's up, bun? Joey, have you seen Rolo around? Hey, Joey! Hey, Joey! No, sorry, Luca. Let me get a plain pie. Okay, Luca. <laughs> I've had my eye in the dirt looking for beetles. I can't seem to find any. He never came home last night. Do you think it's because it's been colder than normal? I don't see why that would have anything to do with Rolo. No, the beetles! Do you think the temperature confused their circadian rhythm or something? Who's this A? I'm no beetleologist. Just keep an eye out for him, would you? Of course. Luca peeked up at the beehive. It appeared to be deserted. Hmm. That's strange. I thought maybe she would have something to say, but... Still strange. Dang, they boarded up the way in. Luca felt a chill as he approached Beck. Her eyes were locked on the strange green liquid. The nearby grass was coated in a fine layer of frost. Uh, is this sort of thing normal around here? Because puddles of glowing ooze are definitely not what I expected from this place. I have no idea what that stuff is. Well, the next obvious step is science. Then what does science suggest? Poke it with a stick! Luca watched as Beck dipped a broken tree branch into the goo. Beck's eyes widened as flowers grew from the dead wood. First small buds, which quickly bloomed into vibrant petals. What the? Oh. As quickly as they had grown, the flowers began to shrivel and turn gray. Beck dropped the stick with a grunt of disgust. Okay. So, the science tells us this gunk is weird as hell. Uh, yeah, it seems dangerous. Hey, Tish, look what the cat dragged in. Yup. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that rhino. So good. I don't have time for this right now, Iggy. Aw, oh, don't say things like that. It'll hurt Tish's feelings. Ain't that right, Tish? Yep. She looks fine to me. Why, hello. I don't think we've been properly introduced. Iggy's the name. This is my compatriot, Tish. Yep. You've probably heard of us. Can't say I have. I forgive you just this once on account of you being new around here. Why would you hang out with this dud? Oh, he seems pretty all right. Iggy, why do you have to be so... you? Has he ever told you that his parents skipped out on him? Shut up. It's true. They got tired of having such a pathetic kid and left him. Iggy, I'm only gonna say this one time. Don't. Talk. About. My family. <laughs> Well, look who's growing a backbone now. The girl's around. First his pops croaked. Then his mom finally couldn't take it anymore and bounced. He like I'm about to bounce your head off this tree trunk. Put him in the goo. Beck could see tears welling in Luca's eyes. His fists clenched. Some things about Beacon Pines were very different from the city. 
but a bully from a hayseed town is really no different from a city bully. Beck took a deep breath and thought. Well, time to bust out the strange. <laughs> Tickles. Time to bust out the strange is a really good sentence. I gotta find well, out what happens when we bust, out, bust the out the strange. All right, Luca. Looks like you need a little mud bath. What's wrong with you, new kid? We're about to pound your friend. Beck stared in silence, the only sign of life being the twitch of an eye. It's weird when people don't talk. Yep. Stop being a weirdo. Uh, hello? Are you some kind of wackadoo? Makes sense, wackadoos travel in packs, they dud. At the sight of Iggy taunting Beck, something in Luca snapped. Iggy smirk shifted to a look of shock as Luca launched himself into his stomach. Dang! Iggy's clothes were drenched in the glowing ooze. You jerk, my clothes are ruined, I'm gonna... His voice began to slur as I... he struggled to get up. I'm gonna... Yeah. I don't... I don't feel so good. Oh. I'm sorry, I just... Oh shit! Y yep. Well, you know... Well... Back to what we were doing. We... We... That was intense. Iggy's gonna be okay, right? Nothing about this seems okay. The person at the warehouse. This strange ooze and what it did to Iggy. Was Rolo caught up in all of this? We have to find Rolo. Took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, I guess that's it for us, right? I feel like we made it to exactly the yep. same point as last time we played this. <laughs> oh, here's the, this is the new content for today. Here we go. Well there, little buddies. You startled me. What the dickens are you up to in this part of town? We were just helping look for Rolo. Oh, you haven't heard the good news? Rolo showed up safe and sound a bit ago. Really? So, where was he? It's real. it's funny, really. He just got turned around in the woods. May can be disorienting, you know. Starting to get that impression. Well, he's at his house now, getting some well-deserved rest. Wow, that's a relief. You two should scurry along before you get yourselves lost. Yeah, come on, Beck. I can't wait to introduce you to Rolo. Oh, that, that reminds me. Luca, your grandmother was looking for you. She was? She was worried sick. You should march straight home. I guess. Beck, oh, folks might be getting worried too. I'll walk you home. I need to talk with Nellie about work anyway. Beck glanced toward Luca. I guess all's well that ends well. I'll introduce you to Rolo tomorrow. Sure. Glad he's okay. Beer. Rolo was safe. For now. Yeah, we don't know that for sure. Yeah. Man, this game's so good. I'm yeah. so excited to play more of it. Should we like get through this little narration oh. part just to make sure it... Sure. A wave of relief washed over Luca, which was quickly replaced by a sense of dread. Gran is going to kill me. If he hurried, he might just make it home before sundown. Chapter 4. Our harvest awaits. Our oh, foul Luca harvest? Took a deep breath and gingerly opened the door, stealing himself for Gran's wrath. Gran? Is that it? I just want to get to where you're like moving. I'm home. Everything's fine. Grant? Okay, now. 
Now we do it. Now we do it. Here we go. Now we do it. We in the stream now. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. We in the stream now. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're ending the stream. That's it. Draw if you stream tomorrow as always. Yep, drop your stream tomorrow. Wednesday, we'll be doing another stream. Yep. Sunday, we'll be doing another stream of this. Yep. Draw class Friday. Draw class Friday. It's Nathan's week. Nathan's going to be doing some guided practice. Nathan's week. So that should be fun. Yes. That's it. I think. I believe. Yeah, I think so. Other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for, to the devs for hanging out in chat. Oh, hell yeah. And thanks so much for making this dang good game. Yeah, everybody pick it up if you have not yet. I think it's on various things. Yeah, it's currently 10% off on Steam. I think it's on like Switch. Oh, wait, I got it right here. Oh, it might just be on Steam right now. Okay. Oh, no, that's a lie. It's on oh my Switch. God. It's on Switch. It's on Xbox. It's on PC. All right. Pick it up. It's on Game Pass, apparently. Oh, my God. Really? So get it. Get it somewhere you want it. Get it. It's it's on it. Yeah. Get it. It's on it. Unless get it's it. a PlayStation. It's on it. Uh, so excited to play more of it. We will definitely be continuing with it next time. Uh, but for now, that's it. We're out of here. That's it. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.